Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Ethan. Welcome to Tuesday. So, the sun is back. I am glad. How long is the sunshine going to last, Lexi? Hey, comments. As of right now, it's supposed to remain sunny until this Friday, ranging between the 50s and the 60s. But for today, there will only be a high of 51 degrees and a low of 38 with no chance of precipitation. And for tonight, we will hit a low of 35 degrees. For today, the cafeteria is serving a choice of mini corn dogs, chicken patty sandwich, a pasta meal with garlic toast and oven potatoes, with a side of salads and veggies. That's it for weather and lunch. Back to you, Mackenzie and Ethan. Thanks, Lexi. First up today, we want to talk about Cultural Week. This entire week, the Renaissance Club is proud to celebrate the cultural diversity here at Central. There are a few things you can do to participate. The first one is very easy. Take a look at this video. It is a term, it is about the term, like a girl. Hi, Erin. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you some actions to do. I just do the first thing that comes to mind. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Oh, my hair. Oh, my God. Show me what it looks like to fight like a girl. <laughs> now throw like a girl. Aww. My name is Dakota and I'm 10 years old. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Throw like a girl. Fight like a girl. What does it mean to you when I say run like a girl? It means run fast as you can. So do you think you just insulted your sister? No. I mean, yeah, insulted girls, but not my sister. Is like a girl a good thing? I actually don't know what it really, if it's a bad thing or a good thing. It sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like you're trying to humiliate someone. So when they're in that vulnerable time, between 10 and 12, how do you think it affects them when somebody uses like a girl as an insult? I think it definitely drops their self-confidence and um, really puts them down because during that time they're already trying to figure themselves out and when somebody says you hit like a girl, it's like, well, what does that mean? Because they think they're a strong person. It's kind of like telling them that they're weak and they're not as good as them. And what advice do you have to young girls who are told they run like a girl, kick like a girl, hit like a girl, swing like a girl? Keep doing it, because it's working. If somebody else says that running like a girl, or kicking like a girl, or shooting like a girl is something that you shouldn't be doing, that's their problem. Because if you're still scoring, and you're still getting to the ball on time, and you're still being first, if you're doing it right, it doesn't matter what they say. I mean. Yes, I kick like a girl, and I swim like a girl, and I walk like a girl, and I wake up in the morning like a girl, because I am a girl. And that is not something that I should be ashamed of. So I'm gonna do it anyway. That's what they should do. If I asked you to, to run like a girl now, would you do it differently? I would run like myself. Would you like a chance to redo it? Why can't run like a girl also mean win the race? That was really good. It's interesting that the younger girls had a different impression than the older girls. I know I want to live where the term like a girl is a compliment. So for all of us, we need to consider how we talk to our younger siblings and how you think about yourself and what you can accomplish. We will keep showing videos that highlight our difference, but we do have another way to get involved. Ren Club is sponsoring a Culture Week dinner this Thursday, April 14th at 6 p.m. The dinner will take place in the cafeteria, and you can sign up to bring a dish in the cafeteria, the counseling office, the library, or the reception desk. Bring a dish that represents your family and their traditions. Or, if you prefer, you can attend by donating two dryer canned food items and $2. We will deliver all donations to the Middle High Food Bank on Friday. Please come bring your friends and enjoy delicious food, music, and experience unique cultures from around the world. Also, homeroom classes can donate canned goods. Talk as a class and come up with some incentives to inspire your class to bring in the most cans. 
All donations will benefit needy folks in Central Ohio. Finally, on Friday, be sure to wear your Comet gear for Spirit Day. Even though we may come from different backgrounds, we are all Comets. If you don't have any Comet gear, plan to wear royal blue. So let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow's early release, which means school starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 2.10. There are no tests tomorrow, so everyone needs to be here at 8. Then on Thursday, we are back to the testing schedule. Sophomores, you will be taking the U.S. History test, so you need to be in your testing room by 8 a.m. Everyone else plan to arrive at school at 10.15. Next up, we have some great events coming up. Our school is heading to Dublin, Ireland and London next summer. If you are interested, please plan to attend an informational meeting today at 6.30 in the ERC. National Honor Society is sponsoring a kickball tournament. You can buy tickets to participate for only $3. If you want to watch the tournament, the cost is one canned food item or a dollar at the door. The event is Friday, April 22nd after school. Next, we have club and meeting news. Students at Mrs. Myers College Prep Group will meet in the conference room today during sixth period. Please bring your folder and permission forms for the field trip and your pass, and we will see you then. And then, the literary magazine is not having a meeting this week. Instead, they will meet on Wednesday, April 20th, right after school. On Wednesday, CBS Comet Bible Study meets at 3.30 in room 287. This Thursday, SAD meets in the morning at 7.20 in room 259. And then during period 8 on Thursday, student council meets. Please plan to check in with your 8th period teacher and then head to the main gym. After school on Thursday, we have a guitar club in room 180. Next up, we have sports. Good morning, Teacher Frosting. I'm Quinn, and here is sporting news. And a reminder for you football players, Comet Football Fundraiser money is due today from 4.30 to 7 at the concession stands located outdoors at the football field. Please email or see co Coach Jackson or Coach Wiseman with any questions. And then this is for you wrestlers. Open math start this Thursday at 6. The banquet will be next Thursday, April 21st at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Please see Coach Ramirez if you have any questions. And here is game new information for the week. Tonight's tennis is at home against Davidson, and varsity baseball is also at home going on against Davidson. Freshman and JV baseball is away, also taking on Davidson tonight. And our Lady Comets are traveling to Big Walnut tonight for their game. Good luck to all the athletes competing today. That is it in Sporting News. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Gwen. Now, here's some information from the counseling office. Booster scholarship applications are due by April 15th. Also, Kiwana scholarships applications are due this Friday the 15th. Swaya scholarships applications are due next Friday the 22nd. If you are in jeopardy of failing a class for the year, stop by the school counseling office for summer school registration. Well, that's it for today. Have a great Tuesday. See you tomorrow, Central.